I like that. I like that. It makes me happy. Uh, I feel good. Good. You want a beer? Sure. I think it's about that time. I'm going to go get one. <laughs> Hey internet, this is Jesse at Ish Guitars coming at you for our second take on this because we screwed up the first one really bad. Um, we're here talking today about our new, very exciting, PRS CE24 uh, Opaque Satin Nitro Run. We built 25 of these guitars, uh, five of each color, which includes uh, seafoam green, powder blue, jet white, gold. Uh, gold top, and satin black, which we have right there. Um, they're all fantastic. We've already sold a bunch of them before we even got to make the mm -hmm. video. Um, and uh, they're really neat. So, a couple of fun features of these guitars. Uh, most importantly, these cool opaque colors. I picked out some uh, kind of funky vintage -y vibes. The, the whole guitar is going for a little bit more vintage vibe on a PRS, right? They're generally considered pretty modern guitars. Mm, yeah. And uh, But Paul Reed Smith is a vintage guy at heart. Um, he built his... PRS is to try to make a, a better mousetrap per se of Les Pauls and Strats, right? Um, so they work really well for this kind of vibe. So um, this finish is a satin nitro. It has uh, what we call an open pour finish. So you'll notice on the back of this, <clears throat> I don't know if you'll catch it in the camera here, but you can actually feel some texture because they don't use a grain filler on it. So this just helps the whole guitar breathe better. And uh, I like the way it feels. Um, but the idea is resonance, right? That real nice thin nitro finish, that's going to wear in really nice on your hands mm -hmm. too um, as you play it. The second thing is these 5708 pickups. Um, these guys are like a 1957 humbucker uh, designed in 2008. That's why they call them that. Yeah. Um, so they have the covers on them. This is Paul's take on that 57 Gibson PAF type of thing. Um, they're warmer, vintage -er, more yeah. old school Gibson-y, right? And then uh, also ebony fretboard on here too. So this was done intentionally. The ebony fretboard helps uh, get a little more bite out of these warmer, uh, kind of almost a little bit darker, I would even say, pickups. Yeah. Um, and ends up giving it a really nice balance along with the mahogany body. Oh, and these are natural backs too, which I love. I hate, I don't really like painted backs or like, no. this just gives you these nice wood vibes. The feeling the wood grain is, is awesome. Does it make you happy? Yes. Does it get you a little it, sexual? It works, it works, Ooh. it works. <laughs> um, and then of course there's the coil taps in here too. Makes this guitar ultra, ultra versatile. So um, we're gonna do a couple things here today. Uh, this is Jay. Uh, he used Hello, to be a lesson teacher. Whoa. I know. And he moved to Colorado. He just moved back actually recently, which is awesome. And we're happy to have him. He's a monster player. So I'm going to have him do a couple things here. Um, I want you to understand the difference in sound of these pickups versus the usual 8515s that tend to come in these guitars. It just so happens that PRS made a mistake and accidentally sent us one of these guitars with the 8515s in it, which it wasn't supposed to have. Um, so we are going to play this guitar a bit for you and then play this one. And so we'll be able to kind of hear the difference. Cool. So if you want to give us the bass line on that, if you just want to go to the center position, yeah, it'd be fine. Yeah, this is both pickups. Yep, and give us a little... Uh, Everything on 10. Yep, give us some schmutz there. <laughs> Sounds, Sounds good. good. It's a great sounding guitar. Um, so now let's hear. So swap out our 5708s here. There you go. Thank you, sir. Try to play the same thing if you can. We'll get there. It's it close. is your challenge of the day. So same thing. Both pickups. Everything's full on ten. Thoughts. I like it. I like it. Give me um, definitely a little more balanced overall, like bass to treble side. I'd say a lot more balanced. It feels personally. really nice. Um, that guitar plays great, sounds great. Um, a little brighter right now for now, what one, I would get after. But. Yeah, one thing to mention too, of course, this isn't your typical CE because it does have the ebony fretboard. So these are going to sound a little bit harsher than usual. Um, right. Because ebony can almost get too harsh sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, a little quack. <laughs> yeah, but the mid-range profiles on these two pickups is hugely different. Yeah, to me. that's really the and that's the guitar player's world. Yeah, our mid-range. So. <laughs> Even though everyone scoops it out in their EQ. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
so these, I mean, these are just fat sounding. I know they sound nice. So one of my favorite positions uh, on the pickups. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> the pickups uh, is uh, on this neck humbucker. If you actually coil tap it, um, this guitar, don't forget, it has a maple bolt on neck. So you really truly get, and a trim. So you really truly get a lot of strat type telly type vibes out of this thing. And also, most people don't really think about it, but that telly neck pickup is actually a covered. Uh, yeah. uh, pickup, right? Yeah. And the covers on the pickups change the way the pickup sounds because now you have metal uh, in a magnetic field, right? So it's going to make right. it sound different. Um, it's one of the only signal coils that actually has a metal uh, a metal cover on it. The Dan Electro lipstick pickups actually yep. were one yeah. of the others, which sound great also too. So uh, flip on that coil tap. So this is the neck yep. coil tap. And play this and yeah. it sounds fantastic. I love yeah, I that. Like that. And to get that out of a PRS, I'm way into it. It sounds good on this, but it does yeah. not it does not sound like that. It so for the benefit of you guys, let's also do the regular neck too. Yeah, do it. So here's the regular just humbucker neck. Sounds fast. Yeah, that's be. beast. Um, just keep hitting the other ones if you want. Go to the center. Here's this, both of them together. The bridge. It's a good bridge sound too. All right, now go uh, coil tap and um, do the neck humbucker yeah. again, just so, so it's all. So coil on. tap neck. Yeah. Coil middle. So that's your funk party right there. Yeah. Then bridge tap. Woo, that's some twang right there. Yeah, it bites. One of my favorite sounds on this guitar is actually that that center uh, coil tapped pickup. It sounds like the is it the two or the four position on this try? I always forget because I'm a bassist. It'd be like the second. It's the second, or right? Or that, that out of phase, really yep. cool. Like, yeah, like you're saying, single like, coils. very funky, but the, to me, that's pretty tough to get out of a guitar. It's not a right. strap. beast right there. Like I was actually, I was like, should I grab a bass but we're not mic'd up for it? <laughs> that sounds awesome. Gotta try the gain out. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad we did that. That was a good call, Jay. Studio players, here you go. Yeah, really. right, no, exactly. I mean, 
And so the thing is, is these guitars really aren't that expensive. They're, uh, with all these options, these really special things, um, they're only $20.59. So they're only 60 bucks more than your typical uh, CE24. Actually, I happen to have one right here. This is a semi-hollow, so these are usually a little bit more, but your typical CE24 um, with your gloss finish, stained maple top, which that does have a maple top underneath there, by the way. You can see it on the edge of the binding. Yeah. Um, and a rosewood board and uh, the 8515s. These are usually $19.99. Those are $20.59. So for 60 bucks more, you get this crazy cool guitar. Your pickups, all yeah, fun stuff. Tonally, I'm like absolutely just in love with that. And it looks so good. Uh, I'll be honest, I am a sucker just for the satin finishes. I love, I love the satin. So, nice some, so some people, a lot of people will probably have questions on this in the comments, is will that gloss up over time or will it um, you know, have issues with the finish? And the answer is kind of yes and no. It is satin nitro, so it's made to wear in. It's like a good pair of boots or yeah. jeans, right? Um, think about all those vintage strats and Les Pauls you see that are worn in. We have a 59P base in right now for repairs. It actually has like the wood worn out of it oh, and stuff yeah, too, it's right? Crazy. It's awesome. Um, but as this wears in, it's just going to feel better and better. If you're a player and you're putting some nicks and dings on it, it's going to actually look really cool because when you have a gloss finish, they chip out, and then it's like, ugh, that looks right. terrible. Dings. With satin, if you get a chip in it or a ding in it, it kind of, the more you play it, it will gloss up, per se, I guess you can yeah. say, but it's going to end up being turning into your guitar. It's going to be... Yeah, you know, you the use. way you play, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's going to kind of like mold itself to you. And it's going to feel awesome. So I wouldn't be scared of that because it's great. And listen, you buy a guitar, please play your guitar. <laughs> like, use it. Look, exactly. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. <laughs> exactly. Don't destroy them, but. Exactly. And also, too, a fun note about nitro finishes um, is that I learned this from our tech recently, is that if you spray nitro over nitro, they actually chemically bond together. So if you did have some, you know, it was starting to gloss up where mm -hmm. your arm was or something like that, um, you can send it back to us or any trusted tech of yours, uh, and we can actually spray Nitro Clear over the top of it. It'll bond together, and we can actually smooth it out for you and make it re-satined. So kind of neat stuff. That's nice. But, um, yeah, killer guitar. Um, any other thoughts? When's Christmas? Um, a couple months away if it doesn't get canceled. All right, it's true. Because I feel like Governor Cuomo is not going to be cool with people going to Christmas. Well, we will talk between us. <laughs> so, I love uh, it. Like, subscribe, share. Buy one of these before they're gone because they are going quick. And they are fantastic. We're not going to get any more of them. This is the only 25 we're going to be making. Um, and if your color is gone, then once again, there's only five of them per color. And they will be gone forever. So, stay in touch. Comment. Let us know what you think. And um, buy guitars. Yes. See you guys.